Hello everyone, my name is Michael, also known as Yovazal, and today I'm going to show you a cool tool called Bybyte, which is a command which destroys your files in the name of art. And why would you want to do that? So you can make glitch art, um, which is what I'm all about. Um, this thing is a command tool, so if you're not familiar with that, don't worry because I'm going to show you. It's really easy. All you have to do is just type in like a couple words and, and it'll do everything for you. Um, so what you're going to gonna want to do first is download Node.js, which I'm going to put in the description. Um, and you just click that, save file, run it. Um, don't worry about this message. Uh, and I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed, but once you have that installed, um, you can just go to PowerShell, um, or Command Prompt, which is the same thing. Um, you've probably seen this before, but I use PowerShell just because it looks prettier. Once you have uh, downloaded or installed uh, Node.js, you're going to want to copy this or type it in. So. Just control C, control V, and press enter. I'm not gonna do it because I already have Bybyte installed. Um, and then to make sure that you have it correctly installed, just type Bybyte. And if you see this, that means you have it. I have a folder of stuff which um, I'm gonna use to glitch and some I've already glitched. So before we start, let me just show you what this thing can do. Um, this command, can uh, turn images like this into distorted stuff. Um, it can be a JPEG image, a PNG, um, a bitmap, um, but also it can do videos. Um, and here's an example of one that I put on my channel earlier. Um, I'm gonna turn down the volume because that's probably going to put a copyright thing again like I got last time. Um, this is when I was in seventh grade. I was lip syncing to Ellie Goulding. Um, that was a dark time. But yeah, it can totally just mess up the video. Um, the scan lines I added later. Here you'll see that there's two commands, destroy and shuffle. I'm going to go over destroy um, which overwrites the file with random data just because I think it looks better. Um, and we're going to try it with an image, a video, um, maybe something else. So the way you want to do this is you're going to type by byte destroy. And then you're going to want to put the input file, meaning the file that this, that by byte is going to glitch. And so in our case, we're going to try it with uh, 6, um, which is this picture right here. Um, and to find the file path, go to right-click, Properties, and do um, copy this, Control-C. This is the path where your file is in. So you're just going to do Control-V, and then backslash 6.jpg. That's, that's the path to our file right here. And now we're going to need to do dash O to specify our output file, which again is in, I'm going to put it in the same place, but I'm going to name it something different like 6glitch.jpg. And the reason why I named it something different is because I don't want it to overwrite my JPEG file. Um, if I do uh, and I don't like the result, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get this back unless I have a backup of it. So I'm just going to name it something different just to be safe. Because um, in all likelihood, you're probably not going to be able to even view or open the file. But depends what you do. So once you do that, you're going to do dash dash min, standing for minimum. And here is where you're selecting the range um, of bytes that this command is going to glitch. So just for now, we're going to do from zero to um, dash, 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 max one. So one meaning 100%, zero, zero percent. 
Um, and we're gonna press enter. Okay, hold up, I screwed something up. What I did uh, by mistake was I actually have no idea what I did by mistake. Ah, okay. It's not a JPEG, it's a PNG image. That's what I screwed up. Sorry about that. Um, I just assumed that my pictures were JPEGs. So, it's gonna uh, randomly assign uh, stuff there. And this is how many bytes large the picture was. So. We're gonna look for six PNG. Oh, that's what it looks like. It's totally messed up. Um, but I wanted to show you what it looked like when it's a JPEG picture. So the way we can do that is we can open with uh, paint and just save it as uh, a JPEG. And if it's already a JPEG image, you don't have to worry about this. Now we're gonna try it again. So that's what we got right there. Um, really glitched out. So in order to spice this up, we can just do uh, another thing called dash T, which is gonna tell the command how many bytes to randomize. Um, by default, it's 50. We're gonna try 10 and see what that looks like. Ooh, okay. We got some red. So JPEGs are pretty fun to glitch. Um, because just the way that they're compressed and that they are created, uh, they can make some interesting things happen or something totally unpredictable like this. Um, and generally, uh, if you're having trouble opening the, the file, um, you can try to open with another photo viewer if you have one. Um, so next I'm gonna try to glitch a video. So I have this video right here, um, which is like 4th of July parade. Um, you know, just a kind of some clips. Um, and we're gonna see what happens when I run by bite on this. So before we do anything, um, I'm gonna make sure that we're pointing to the right files. So it's called parade mp4 oh this is my output so I'm gonna name it parade glitch and the input is parade dot mp4 and we're gonna change the number of bytes that this is randomizing because it's since it's a video it has it's a lot bigger than a picture so we're gonna try something like uh, 5,000 so we're gonna see just how, how this works. All right, so um, when you're glitching videos, you want to open it in a program called VLC, um, which I'll put in, put in the description. Um, it basically allows you, the way that it works is you can play any video, no matter how glitched it is. Well, there's a certain point where you can't play it if you've glitched it enough, but we just got it open. Um, and yeah, we got some really cool result with this just by this one command. Um, and if we scrub through, like look, yeah, this this is cool. You got people glitched everywhere. So basically this command just randomized the bytes in this video and uh, yeah, that's literally all it did. Um, and you've got stuff like this. Uh, and yeah, so if you just want to admire that, I'm enjoying this a lot. This is much better than I expected. Um, and in order to be able to, so you're not going to be able to use this video in like a video editor, um, or anything other than VLC. Um, you can try, it might work, but because it's so glitched, a lot of editors are not gonna wanna be able to use this file uh, because it's broken. So in order to be able to use it anywhere, you have to go to uh, Media, Convert, Save, 
um, and you want to add your file. Um, in our case, it's Parade Glitch. Um, and you want to press Convert, Save, and this is where it is. And we're doing selecting this H264 plus MP3, so it's MP4. Um, and we can browse where we want it to go. Um, I'm just going to call it Parade Glitch Fixed. And we'll start that. And if at any time you're stuck, um, just do bybyte dash help. And it'll bring this stuff up. If you want to look at command specific stuff, just do like bybyte destroy dash help. And that'll help you um, tell you what every option does if you're confused. Um, I didn't go over everything, but I can also uh, show you what continuous um, mode does. That's actually kind of cool. Um, so I'm pressing up again. And we're going to do uh, another thing that's in our folder. We're going to do uh, wildlife. Um, again, this is my output, so I'm calling it wildlife glitched dot WMV because um, that's its extension. And wildlife WMB. Uh, since this is a shorter video, it's got less bytes in it, so I'm going to change that uh, n value um, to something smaller, maybe like a thousand. We're going to press enter now, and we're going to see what this looks like. Ooh. So because this is a different file type, um, WMV instead of MP4, it looks pretty crazy. Um, it just, it's, I think it's removing um, frames and yeah, this is what data moshing looks like, guys. And now it's frozen, which is to be expected because this is a glitched video. Um, but what I was trying to show is, well, let's tone this down a little bit. Um, and you can turn on continuous mode, which is this right here, um, by doing dash C. Um, and by default, the chance that it will be continuous, that the next byte will be randomized, um, is 60%. But we can change that by doing dash capital C and putting in our own percentage, like 0.8 for example. Um, and I'm gonna change it to glitch 2. Oh! I realized what I did wrong. <laughs> I named it WMV.MP4 and it still worked somehow, which is interesting. Um, this one looks a little similar, but again, like I said, you just gotta experiment and you're gonna make some cool, cool stuff. Um, so again, I hope that somebody enjoyed this. Somebody will now use this. Um, I didn't develop it. This person did. Um, they have a website too called GlitchNet. Um, GlitchNet. GlitchEt.com. Sorry. I'll put that in my uh, description. Um, and there's a lot of useful stuff to learn. Um, especially this. Uh, page so many cool techniques that you can learn how to do that. I learned how to do um, And maybe I'll also cover in future tutorials So let me know if you've got any questions if you need any help with this um, Thing and uh, yeah, thanks for watching